At Anticover, we like to pride ourselves with coming up with unusual things. And something just came in that I thought is very unusual. Uh, we got a call from a silversmith at the Lunt Company, and he said he had just purchased at the Lunt auction, the bankruptcy auction, the um, Tiffany coppers for their patterns. So, what is a copper? Well, a copper is when they first made a die, the first stamping would be copper. Copper holds the pattern better than silver. And then every time they made the pieces, they would look at the copper. If the piece looked as good a quality as the copper, then they would approve the piece. Anyway, we bought about 800 of these, and um, the pieces are unique. There's only one of each. People have been so excited by the coppers that I showed them at Miami Beach, and one person bought some there, and since then has flown up twice to the shop in Wisconsin to um, look at and buy more. This, this one is in the Castilian pattern, and it's a large sugar sifter. Other ones, here's like a, a fork in the pattern, salad fork in the pattern, Hamilton. Now, if you think about it, each piece does say Tiffany Sterling on the back, which is kind of unusual for copper. But um, if you think about it, they probably made hundreds of thousands of salad forks in the Hamilton pattern, but they only made one copper. Talked to someone about English King, and again, the oval soup in English King, very common piece. They probably made millions, but they only made one copper. So for the collectors, it's really something special. One other interesting thing about the coppers is that they made them for some pieces within the patterns where they never produce the piece. So, example, a customer in the pattern Renaissance thought he had every piece imaginable, and yet there was a long lobster pick, which through all of his years of hunting, he never found. Uh, that is an example of a piece that Tiffany made the copper for, made the die for, but never made the piece. So, something very unique, and uh, kind of neat, actually. Thank you.